In one of the previous sections, I spoke about whole command, and with whole command, you could easily select a surface and go to insert a hole. You can see that by adding a hole, you could easily add some features like, let me go to hole, like adding some threads to the hole. And if you wanted to have a thread, you would go to thread definition and from here select threaded. And then you could see that there were different types of threads. Some of them were metric tick pitch, metric thin pitch, and these two were ISO uh, defined types of threads. And also no standard that was your definition of the thread that you wanted to add to this option. Let's say that I already have something like a hole here. Let me cancel this out. And what I'm going to do is to go to this surface and I'm going to go to sketch environment and draw something like a circle. So this is what I already have. And based on this circle, I'm going to have a pocket. So you go to insert dress up features, uh, sorry, sketch based feature and select pocket and up to the next. That's okay for me. So. I just want to add some threads to this. I don't want to have a new hole. I already have my hole here. So what I'm going to do is to select this hole that I already have and add some threads to this. For this, we have a specific command. If I go to insert threads of features, you can see the thread tab command here. If I click on that, it will tell me what face do I want to have threads on so i go and make sure that this face is selected and the limit face the limit face should be a planar surface in my case this face is going to be my limit so i can reverse it in my case i cannot because uh, the limit is uh, exactly the beginning of this but if you had some other plane in between you could use uh, the reverse direction for threading and then you have different types you can see that you can have dimension this means that how much do you wish to have? If I want to have support depth, this means that how much depth do I have? And of course I can select up to plane. This means that I can select a plane or a face to limit this up to that. So I'm going to select support depth. This means that uh, it goes to the end of the hole. And by choosing that, you could see that support diameter and thread depth is going to be grayed out. This means that I can no longer uh, change them. Also, I can have thread diameter. I can change the thread diameter to whatever I wish. And also the pitch thread diameter is by default something like a diameter of the circle that I have selected here. I can change it and the thread diameter can be changed automatically. So uh, I can have also right threaded or left threaded based on the definition and then click on preview. By selecting preview and clicking on OK, you can see that I don't see anything here as a matter of fact, but uh, don't worry, whenever you start um, plotting or drafting, you can easily see what you have here and that's going to be okay. So this is what we have created. It is uh, visible in here, but right now it is not visible uh, visually, but when you're drafting, it can be easily visible. So you know that the thread is there.